So this is the actual floor of the bathroom pod right on this end where you see basically drainage. That is the shower portion. The vanity goes, I think on this side, Believe it or not, guys, this thing was set up with an entire shower, vanity, and toilet right inside of it. Like this is the complete pod. That is how big the bathroom is. And this portion is the ceiling. On the other side of it, everything is actually already on there. We have the exhaust fan. We have um, two recessed lights. And then here you actually have the walls that are facing into the bathroom. And as you can tell, it has that same texture that makes it a complete wet bath on the inside. So this is the bathroom floor actually inside of the dome. And pretty much this is what the bathroom pod is going to um, look like. It's not very big, but it's very equipped. And we're gonna attempt to put it together right now. So there is the actual um, shower drain and all of the gold um, kind of brackets get this bolt in there that actually acts as the legs and helps to keep it off the ground a little bit. And that's going to come in really handy for um, having to run any plumbing or anything underneath the bathroom pod. So we're going to build it the way the book says. We do know that we're going to have to do some modifications, but as for now, we're just going to follow all the instructions and see how best we can get it to work. Looks like they put a screw straight down to it. Screws right down. There's a little hole in the screw. This part has to come back a little bit. It's not flush like that side. So we have two of the walls up for the bathroom pod and it's actually really starting to take shape. You can really tell that it's going to be an enclosed bathroom at this point. As the walls go up too, you tend to realize that it's not as tiny as it looks. Eric is six something and <laughs> I don't know, I want to say 200 and something pounds and he is sitting basically where the vanity would kind of be. And it is a small vanity, just an 18 inch vanity. So it's not gonna take up a lot of space. The toilet fits 
perfectly in between the vanity and the shower. So it's gonna be amazing to see it finished so you can really tell how functional this bathroom is going to be. It's supposed to come through? Mm -hmm. Oh, just making sure. Now we have actually all of the walls up in this section that is open. That is where the door goes and it's such a pretty door. I can't wait to put that on there. But Eric is basically putting in the seam. That thing has been a pain in the butt to put in. However, once it is in, it ends up looking so nice. It looks better than if you were to um, like caulk the corners of, of your seams, but it is basically seamless. So it's kind of this um, rubber band that just gets pushed into the corner. And when I say pushed into the corner, I mean like pushed into the corner. This thing is, I want to say airtight is how tight this thing um, ends up being. And it's really hard to shove it in there, but once it, it's in, it looks so good. Do you need me to do something? Hmm? The trick is to kind of get a little gap in between so it can kind of go in. So that is why Eric is literally like attacking it with his head. What you saw Eric putting in was basically the trim to the walls. So it keeps it very tight and sealed. We're really glad that we went with the bathroom pod because it would have taken us a lot longer and a lot more space to build a bathroom. And space is one thing that we are already iffy on and we have to utilize the best space possible. So having somewhere our guests can actually shower and um, use the restroom inside of the dome was very important to us. So the entire thing is up, including the door frame. We're just gonna go around and make sure that all the screws are fastened and that there's a screw in every spot like we said it was already put together before so we just want to make sure we didn't miss anything but this is pretty much the bathroom pod guys we don't have the vanity or anything on the inside as yet there is a ceiling portion that we are going to um, put on top of it but it already has the fittings for the shower drain and um, it all fits so snug, but it all looks so cute. It's very practical. It's very usable. And um, like I said, two grown adults can be in this bathroom at the same time, me and Eric. 
And also, one of the sales associates for True Domes spent a lot of time in this bathroom um, trying to figure out how we would get it home safely and how we would get to put it back together once we got back home. So it is more than enough space to be able to take a shower and do your business and get out of it. I would much rather have a bathroom pod inside of where I'm staying rather than having to go out in the middle of the night and use the restroom. So this is going to be such a bonus to our guests that it's definitely worth all the hassle it was trying to put it back together. We have the roof portion on now and it pretty much just goes on there and gets screwed in. And now you can really see the lights and the exhaust fan. There's a little, I don't know if it's a peephole or <laughs> something um, to be able to probably access the roof um, portion of the bathroom. But that's all it took to put the roof on there. We're actually taking the brackets that were used for feet off of the bathroom pod just because the dome is pretty flat. The bathroom pod actually has a very, very sturdy base within itself. We wanna get this thing as flush to the canvas as possible. So lowering it is going to allow us to be able to slide it back a bit, even though it's only gonna be the tiniest bit of space. Trust me, it is very needed when you are doing a dome because of the circular shape of it. It is already kind of an awkward space to deal with and we already have all of this space behind the dome. Luckily for us, we're going to utilize that space for our water heater and any plumbing that we need, but we want this to be able to sit back a little further just so um, when we anchor the bed off the front of it, we don't have to shimmy across just to get on the other side of the bed. So it might not seem like it's going to gain us a lot of space, but this area here is going to be for the bed and we actually already measured it out our 80 inches and we still have good walkway behind the bed once we anchor it onto the bathroom. But being able to take this back, even just six inches is going to be able to help us. But I think we're gonna get quite a bit of space once we're able to take the legs off and make it a little shorter. Um, we don't want to sit it right on top of the dome, so. We're gonna have to pull it out a bit, but we wanna be able to get as close as we can to close this gap up. And so for now, we kinda of have it propped up just so we can get the legs off, and then we'll be able to see how much space we're gonna be able to gain. So we got all the brackets off. It's time for the moment of truth to see how much we actually gained in space and also to make sure that it is going to stand on its own. <laughs> the base of this is pretty flat and sturdy within itself. I'm actually more comfortable with it being flat on the floor. I don't think it needs to be raised. So it's a win-win situation for us all together. Oh wow, we gained a lot of space by taking the legs off. 
So we were able to bring it back quite a bit more and gain some more space. We still have a lot of room. I can still walk clean through here so we can put our water heater there or any other um, supplies that we need for the dome. And Eric is pretty much measuring um, the sides just to make sure that we have clearance for everything we need. So we got the bathroom pod in and we're just trying to figure out how we're going to angle it just so we can um, kind of map out where everything is going to go. We have a limited amount of space and then we also have um, this awkward shape. So it has been quite interesting trying to figure out how everything is going to lie. Eric have started to kind of draw out a little bit of how far we're gonna have to need things to go. We're putting a kitchenette right here on this side of the wall. So we're trying to make sure that we're not gonna be too tight on the door with the cabinets when you walk in. But Eric is just measuring around to make sure we have enough space. Behind here where he is, is basically where um, we're going to put our water heater and any breaker or anything we're gonna need electrical wise or utility wise is gonna be behind there. And once you walk in, you're gonna be walking into a little kitchenette. So where we have um, this line drawn on the floor, I don't know if you can really see it. It's pretty much where our cabinets is gonna lie. So we literally have to measure out every little spot to make sure this is gonna work. This is just a rough draft for now. Things can change. We measured out where the bed's gonna go and I think about where the chair is, is where the bed is going to end. You still have a good amount of room to walk around the bed and be able to um, check out your views and everything. They basically had um, the bathroom turned to where this door was back here but the problem with that is you would have to pull this out so much more to be able to have a comfortable walking space behind to enter in and out the bathroom and open the door so we decided to turn the bathroom so that we can have the opening to the right and we can take the bathroom pod as close to the canvas um, as we possibly could and that's as close as we can get so with it being turned kind of long ways into the room, it kind of ate away a bit at the space we had for the bed. Like I had plans on putting probably kind of like a little chase or something or bench to the end of the bed. That's not gonna be possible anymore. <laughs> the space is going pretty quickly, but we will have our kitchenette built on the inside. We um, will be putting a little dinette on this section where we have um, these boxes, we're gonna have to, or I'm gonna have to let go of some of my dreams of everything I wanted to fit in here because I want the guests to be able to enjoy the space and not have to um, be tiptoeing around. So as far as everything we envisioned, I see it working, we see it coming to life. So that's pretty awesome. I think we got the space under control and we're going to do modifications as needed to make sure that everything works out. But this thing turned out so awesome. So this would just be the doorway. And like I said, there's a nice frosted glass that goes here on the bathroom door. And you can really tend to see the space now. We have um, the shower over here where you would see that drain is. And um, once the toilet and the actual vanity goes in here of course you have the lights and the fan and everything on the ceiling once you have the vanity and the toilet in here um, we're going to add that glass partition that's going to kind of separate the shower a little bit and it'll definitely help to define the bathroom and the shower a little bit more the only mods we did to this was taking it off of um, its legs and I think that was the best decision to get um, the most space that we need and it really didn't need the legs the floor is pretty much leveled as you can tell a little bit of how it's made it was literally just like snapped into these brackets down here at the bottom and then um, you have your steel corners that both sides screw into so this thing is pretty sturdy like you really can tell how sturdy it is. Once we get all the fixtures on the inside and we start to build the kitchenette and everything, I think everything would really start to come together and it'll really feel like one cohesive room. So really excited to see 
how everything starts to turn out now that we have the subfloors built and we have the bathroom pot in. And from this point on, it's pretty much just getting the utilities in here. So getting the plumbing to the bathroom, getting our lights and stuff. Um, and then we're gonna, I think start working on our floors and working on getting this thing up and on Airbnb. We really need to get things up and running so we can start getting some income. As you know, we quit our jobs almost two years ago, <laughs> but we've been on this project for about a year now and we are ready to get it done. I think for two people in the middle of the mountains um, on some basically raw land having to develop it and get it to this point, we did pretty good and um, it's just amazing to see everything come into to light. It's amazing to see the dome up and see um, the bathroom pod in here. And I think we're that much closer, guys. We're one step closer to this thing going live on Airbnb. So unfortunately, after a lot of great debating yesterday, we decided against using the bathroom pod. So we're going to have to take it down because it is in the way of everything we're trying to do. And if we're not using it, it is not going to serve any purpose being um, installed in here. So we are going to dismantle it and put it back into storage and get to working on actually building out our bathroom that we are going to design specifically for the dome. That way we can anchor the kitchen and the bed off of it properly. That way we can get the correct measurements for exactly what we're going to be building in here. Yesterday we mapped out a kind of design and area that we're going to use in here for the kitchenette and the bathroom and so once we get the bathroom pod out of here we'll be able to continue working on our measurements and just making sure everything is laying out the way we expect it to this is the vanity that came with the bathroom pod we really couldn't use one that was actually bigger than this so that was the first con of the bathroom the toilet is situated right here next to the vanity and the shower is supposed to go right here on this wall. This is pretty much the shower and the toilet really just gets crammed right here next to the vanity. And while this would be enough space to actually have a restroom and use it, we wanna create something a little bigger and just more relaxing for the guests. 